turn the key on. Remember, you gotta push push down on the top of it while you turn it. Push the button. And this week, uh, we've been pretty busy. Uh, it's you know Christmas week, but uh, we did run the truck quite a bit before Christmas. Uh, put a few miles on it, ran a couple of loads, and the truck's been doing fantastic so far. Um, we have swapped out a few things. Um, <clears throat> I finally got a different seat in the truck. Um, got the steering wheel cleaned up a little bit. Um, we did a lot of uh, little small things on the inside. Got some of the lights working on the outside of the truck. We also put some lights on the inside of the truck too. Um, my kid likes purple, so um, we put some purple lights on the inside. In here we have a uh, Sparco grip seat, which probably won't stay in here long. It's just kind of in a transitional phase, but um, it's a lot more comfortable than the seat that was in here. Holds me in a lot better and uh, actually gives me some lumbar support. So. It works out pretty well and uh, swapped all the gauge lights over to uh, LEDs. We found out the parameter had uh, gone bad. A screw had come loose inside of it. So I had this in the shop. It's a uh, auto meter deal. We just kind of just stuck this in here for giggles just to see if it would work, see if the sensor would work. But it actually does work and it works pretty well. And I haven't seen the truck get over, uh, over about 800 degrees on the... Uh, on the pyrometer, but we got all the other gauge lights swapped out to LEDs inside here. Got some uh, some pinkish purple LEDs down there. Anti glares, all wired up. Things inside are looking pretty neat. <laughs> Say hi to Julia. Hello. <laughs> Upon inspecting their truck last week, I was noticing. Uh, some bushing material starting to come out of <coughs> out of the uh, the eye bushings here for the air leaf suspension. So I went ahead and went over to Thurston Springs, grabbed a couple of new bushings, and we're in the process of putting some new bushings in here. So I don't know what's a, a flashlight, but you guys can probably see what's going on. But um, yeah, hopefully get these new bushings in here. Um, we we'll get three more to go. This one and the two back ones and also the bushings on the dog bone. So that's not right. That shouldn't have slid off there like that. We're gonna have to do some, uh, some corrective therapy here on, uh, oh, there we go. That's a good angle. I don't know if you guys can see from here, but that, uh, that track bar bushing that keeps the axle from going from left to right has completely separated itself and it slid over in a place where it's not supposed to be. This one's going bad, but it hasn't slid off the, uh, the mount like the back one has. So we'll get those replaced here pretty soon too. I found these in the toolbox. So this will be Julia's first job to install these on the front mud flaps. So. Um, she's going to learn a little bit about fabrication and hopefully I'll be able to sit back and not have to do so much work on my truck <laughs> while I laugh at you. Yeah, good luck. 